okay hello guys i welcome you to my channel otabene tech on tube and in this video i'll just going to introduce a, new, a pretty new a pretty new concept which is about wi-fi development and uh, with the help of uh, this uh, module which is all about the wi-fi it is a esp 12e wi-fi module with version 1 and uh, it's a document uh, with uh, pretty handsome uh, technical information and specification of uh, the device which is the Wi-Fi and how you have a small device or tool or with the help of techniques several techniques obviously uh, the external uh, dimension and the internal uh, parts uh, which specify the whole product is important in determining what is all about the Wi-Fi uh, product Wi-Fi module and with the help of this ESP which is the standard uh, for uh, developing let's uh, I've opened uh, a split screen in front of you the reason behind is just to let you know that, that we can search about uh, the um, uh, very technical uh, terminologies through these uh, through Google obviously uh, just helping you guys that what are the specific meaning of the uh, of this uh, uh, of this uh, of each and every technical bit instead of me as in uh, passing on the information which is uh, which may or may not be uh, authentic due to the uh, use of a proper due to the lack of uh, use of uh, proper terminologies or the technical terminologies for that specific term that is why I've opened a uh, Google in front of you so that the video is purely authentic and purely uh, based on sharing information uh, based on understanding based on uh, effective uh, you can say approach towards understanding uh, this module so uh, first of all I'll just want to have this ESP what's this ESP ESP is uh, electronic stability program that is the ESP is the electronic stability program 12e is what 12e and flash the ESP at uh, 12e 12e root okay 12e let's see in ESP What is ESP 12E? E a Wi-Fi module is developed by as we are developing this. It is a AI thinker team. It provides unsurpassability to embed Wi-Fi capabilities and others within other systems or to function as a standalone application with the lowest cost and minimal space requirements. So it is a module given a name of the module given it and uh, developed by the AI uh, thinker team. So it provides unsurpassed ability to embed Wi-Fi capabilities within other systems okay or to function as a standalone application that is also a very good uh, because it will help us to th this document is very important in developing a whole together a very low cost product because uh, this whole uh, product will help uh, to provide a very very sound uh, basis for developing more complex based on obviously more funding and more budgeting but you n you must have the understanding that uh, the basis of each technical and each uh, complex uh, highly complex defined systems or highly complex defined uh, products uh, are uh, the bases are all together you have to be strongly rooted you have to be the basis has to be uh, the understanding and the basis needs to be very strong otherwise you cannot have that authentication over uh, the use of a technology or the use of the method so that is why it's very uh, very necessary to have uh, the solid uh, understanding about any technical products like this which I have actually discussing in front of you so at ESP 12 we have discussed it is the Wi-Fi module and it is uh, the table of contents preambles it is the logo is in front of you the blue logo is of AI 
yeah, the AI thinker team. So preambles, features, parameters, and pin descriptions, packing, and a dimension, and a functional description, MCU. Okay, and memory organization, internal SRM and ROM, external SI flash, external interfaces, absolute maximum rating, recommended operating conditions, data terminal. So these are, I'll just go quick, just to go, just to uh, not to take long on this video. Uh, preambles ESP12E Wi Fi module is developed by AI Thinker team, core processor. Uh, ES, uh, ESP8266 is the smaller sizes of the module encapsulate a uh, tensilica l106 integrated industrial learning ultra low power 32 bit mcu micro and what is the mcu mcu micro it is the it is what mcu what is mcu a microcontroller okay and uh, mcu for microcontroller or uc for u controller is a small computer on a single integrated circuit a microcontroller contains one or more cpus along with memory and programmable input output peripherals so this is a small microcontroller uh, in a small computer on a it is like a chip you can say uh, for uh, in a computer so it integrate uh, obviously it's uh, it's in a necessary part of uh, okay a combination of one or two CPUs or the processor cores which are the other name of the CPUs so and uh, the acronym is CPUs actually the microcontroller uh, the is the uh, is the collection of uh, two or more or one or more CPUs okay so that is why it is uh, within the computer and uh, the module support standard okay what where, where i was i was as actually here tensilica uh, tensilica l106 integrates industry leading ultra pa low power 32 bit micro with the, the 60 bit short mode and clock speed support 80 megahertz 160 megahertz and supports the r2s so let's see what is r2 r2s real-time operating system it is the acronym for the real-time operating system and integrated a uh, Wi-Fi Mac BB okay onboard antenna okay these are the parts which are on that device the module support standard this BGN agreement complete excuse me complete as uh, TCP IP protocol stack so let me actually go through with this what it, it what it means so okay it is the Wi-Fi standard adoptive technologies including OFDM and MIMO to enable it to provide high-speed data at 600 MPA MPBS peak IEEE 802.11N was the next of the IEEE 802.11 standards after uh, 802.11A okay the industry came to a substantial agreement about the features were in early 2006 so this is the standard for the Wi-Fi adoptic technologies okay the like other standards we have discussed so many standards uh, in our in our channel related to so many different uh, domain of uh, business so uh, this is also a standard which is a Wi-Fi based standard and uh, Wi-Fi is obviously a very important technology now it is complete TSP IP protocol stack users can use the add modules to an existing device networking or building a separate network controller okay okay with the help of this module uh, obviously this module supports the Wi-Fi standard and uh, users can uh, add uh, uh, add further uh, modules ESP8266 is a high integration wireless SOC is designed for space and power constrained mobile platform designers it provides answer by it i've been discussed earlier so this is all together flow what is uh, all together it is had discussed the block diagram in front of you so 
let me actually get it a small uh, probably okay esp 8 ex offers a complete and self-contained wi-fi networking solution it can be used to host the application or to offload a wi-fi networking functions from another application processor okay is uh, a esp a 26 x block diagram okay offers a complete and self-contained wi-fi networking solution it can be used to host the application or to offload wi-fi networking functions from another application processor okay fair enough you can uh, offload as well and you can use it as uh, to host the application when uh, this hosts the application it boots up directly from an external flash it has uh, integrated uh, cache to improve the performance of the system in such applications host uh, the application it it boots up directly from an external flash it has integrated cache to improve performance of the system in such applications uh, alternate uh, alternately uh, serving as a wi-fi adapter wireless internet access can be added to any microcontroller based design with simple connectivity spi sdio or one to see uart interface when ESP A26 EX hosts the application, it boots up directly from an external flash. It has an uh, integrated cache to improve the performance of the system in uh, such applications. Alternatively, okay, uh, it is among the most integrated Wi Fi chip in the industry. Okay, it integrates antenna switches, uh, RF balloon, and uh, power amplifier, low noise receiver amplifier, filters, power management modules. It requires minimal external circuitry, and the entire solution, including front end module, is designed to occupy minimal PCB area. What is the PCB area? Let's see. PCB area. What is PCB area? A printed circuit board mechanically supports and then electrically connects electronic components or electrical components using conductive tracks, pads, and other features aged from one or more sheet layers of copper laminated, not between sheet layers of a non-conductive uh, substrate. This is this is altogether. Uh, you can say as a chip as as the def as of the block also describe all, all the all the flow of the work but it is a small chip and all the uh, all the parts that is mentioned in this it includes switches rf pellon and you need to understand this whole flow of uh, the circle uh, circuit I'll, I'll able to understand it but obviously right now i'm not able to explain just right away but uh, with the help of uh, the the theoretical uh, actually applied knowledge i can say that it is just a combination of different uh, parts and uh, different uh, with the different antenna switches rf balance power amplifier low noise receive amplifier these are different parts in this uh, wi-fi module chip so and being okay so ESP A26 also integrates an enhanced version of uh, Tensilica L106 Diamond Series 32 bit processor with on chip uh, SRS RAM. What is L106? L106 Diamond Tensilica. Tensilica Diamond Standard Series is a family of uh, code compatible pre configured microprocessor and DSP intellectual property codes based in Tensilica instruction set in architecture. The base Extensa ISA uses 24 bit instructions that target a wide range of embedded applications. Okay. It is a microprocessor, it is one of the microprocessors, obviously. That is why been named as such it is in the family of the 32-bit microprocessor and uh, with on chip SRM 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 memory 
and uh, its static RAM is the random access memory that retains data bits in its memory as long as power has been supplied. Unlike dynamic RAM, it is stored bits in cells consisting of a capacitor and a transistor. SRM does not have to be periodically refreshed. Okay, it's uh, normally is a static. That is why it need, need not to be refreshed. Okay, that is the difference between the, the static as well and dynamic it remain fixed so you don't need to verify or don't need to actually uh, refresh it that's the difference so besides uh, uh, the Wi-Fi functionalities ESP is off integrated with external sensor and the application specific devices through its GPIOs let's see what is GPIOs General purpose input output. Okay, general purpose is an uh, uncommitted digital uh, signal pin on an integrated circuit or electronic circuit board whose behavior. Okay, GPIO. Through its GPIO. Stand for general purpose input output. Okay. Codes uh, for such applications are provided examples in the SDK. Let's see what's SDK. An SDK is a collection of software used for developing applications for a specific device or operating system. Okay. That is understandable because obviously Wi Fi uh, is a tool uh, or is a chip normally which is uh, provided as a part of a specific operating system normally so that is why an SDK is a collection of a software used for developing application for a specific device or operating system it include the Windows S7 SDK the Mac OS 7 SDK and the iPhone typically include an integrated development environment which serve as the central programming interface yes what is API and SDK? API is an interface that allows uh, software programs to interact with, whereas the SDK is a set of tools that can be used to develop. API is an interface that allows software programs to interact with each other, whereas the SDK is a set of tools that can be used to develop software applications targeting a specific platform so an API can be seen as a simple SDK without all the debugging support okay that is an external information I'm just checking it out but the I want to go is again also integrates an enhanced version of this uh, with an on-chip SRM besides the Wi-Fi functionalities because it is a static uh, memory so obviously the Wi-Fi functionalities are there and is often integrated with external sensor that application specific devices to its GPO journal uh, which is uh, input and output uh, general purpose input and output yes general purpose input and output codes for such applications are provided in examples in the SDK okay and SDK is obviously in front of you and as a software development kit and uh, as Esperus system smart connectivity platform dem uh, dem uh, dem uh, demonstrates sophisticated system level features include fast sleep wake context switching for energy efficient uh, wipe adaptive radio biasing for low power operation advanced signal processing and spur cancellation and radio coexistence features for common cellular bluetooth ddr lvds lcd interference mitigation okay so features include these are the features uh, let me have it once more the confirmation okay okay ah, okay I've discussed this earlier it is obviously the series it has all been discussed so wireless standards so features are this it uh, it follows this integrated low bit this MCU uh, it is uh, 
the microcontroller unit so obviously it is integrated low power integrated 10-bit uh, ADC ADC is analog to digital converter okay it is integrated a 10-bit ADC integrated TCP IP protocol stack integrated TR switch okay it is all these all the these network in the parts are in in the blog as well in the blog in the, blo in the blog diagram as well and integrated PLL PLL okay. integrated PM PLL phase locked loop a phase lock loop or phase uh, lock uh, loop is a control system that generates an output since a single integrated circuit can uh, can provide a complete phase locked loop building block the technique is widely used in modern electronic devices okay it's a control that generates an output okay Phase lock loop with integrated VCO analog devices. Let me have this in some detail. A phase lock loop or phase uh, lock loop is a control system that generates an output signal. Okay. You have the phase uh, comparator with the loop filter and voltage uh, control oscillator simplest analog phase lock loop and an output signal whose phase is related to the phase of an input signal okay there are several different types the simplest is an electronic circuit consisting of a variable frequency oscillator and a phase detector in a feedback loop the accelerator uh, these are this more detailed specification of uh, this simplest analog phase lock loop you just have to it is all about the differences between the inputs and the outputs okay and um, it generates the output signal obviously it related to the input normally it is the logic behind it, the output signal whose phase is related to the phase of the input signal that's the point so the phase R of 180 360 I believe because normally it is in that electronic circuit different phases So it is phase locked loop okay and uh, what else we have uh, support antenna diversity okay Wi-Fi supported STA AP operation mods STA AP operation mods Simon simultaneous STA and AP mod Wi-Fi app documentation it if what is AP and STA okay a station a client device uh, is in a uh, Wi-Fi network such as the computer laptop or smartphone the term STA is sometimes used for the access point AP as well, in which case a STA in any device community via the 801 protocol. Okay. Station a client device uh, in an that is the Wi-Fi wireless network such as the computer laptop. Okay. So support STA operation mode, support smart link function for both Android and, and iOS, okay, iOS devices, support smart link function, okay, obviously the, this application or this module will also be running on the devices itself. So STIO2, SPI, okay, these are the different uh, standards and uh, the different devices. STIO. SD is an integrated design as an extension for the existing SD card standard. 
okay to allow connecting different peripherals to the host with the standard sd controller now it is extensively used to connect wi-fi bluetooth chips on arm boards like van board uh, raspberry pi 3 or banana pi sdio may refer to secure digital input output okay or a type of secure digital card interface it can be used as an interface for input output devices strategic defense initiative organization an organization set up to oversee that is uh, the other okay secure digital input and output it is this one and also the bluetooth okay so these technologies are normally interconnected because excuse me sd uh, mpdu or a msdu aggregation aggregation and 04 seconds guard interval okay deep uh, sleep power less than 10 micro ampere power down leakage current less than 5 micro uh, amperes wake up and transmit packets in less than 2 milliseconds standby power consumption of less than point one dot micro watts and 20 d b m what is 20 dbm dbm is a unit of level used uh, to indicate uh, indicate that a power ratio is expressed in decibels with the 20 uh, dbm okay dbm is a unit of level used to indicate that a power ratio is expressed in decibels okay this is decibels yes db is decibels okay uh, output power these are the different uh, detail actually information it's not that just to have wasted enough of the time over or just over here parameters okay wi-fi but this this time is very important because uh, features needs to be explained as uh, uh, as an as an introductory level uh student obviously i'll just let you know that the i have just passing on the information which is valid which is obviously true as per the technology technological terms and this may prove uh, a sound basis of developing a more complex system later on right now not right at this stage but obviously we are actually helping ourselves uh, enough wi-fi parameters wi-fi protocols if the values are there the frequency range and the peripheral bus remote control uh, gpio pwm and uh, hardware parameters bolt uh, these are the parameters different and the software parameters wi-fi mode has been there station soft uh, ap and uh, soft ap plus station security encryption film uh, firmware uh, upgrade okay pin description there are all together into pin counts definition of which are described in this okay you can see that it is the pin design with 22 different uh, slots or different pins uh, available for this whole uh, circuitry and let's moving ahead we have discussed the features we have discussed uh, uh, what else we have discussed the parameters within which this device we're going to operate with the different uh, parameters the Wi-Fi pro pro protocols the standard is in front of you frequency range is this and uh, the hardware parameters uh, the software uh, parameters the pin description 22 pins okay these are the reset the module these are the detailed pin description which is obviously the circuitry and the uh, and all the functionality is within each pin so that may help and the, the detail in front of you what are the function uh, and what is a specific function according to a set uh, pin so chip selection it all helps to actually operate that specific tool altogether these chips or these pins pin mode uh, mode uh, gpio 15 gpio gpio 2 uh, uart low low and high 
flash boot low high and high let me more let me have this confirmation what is jpio from five yet again it is the power on this right on this let's see what it says it is all together the circuitry you need to know about the electronics as well all together and uh, updated 2nd april we need to show okay how to use and uh, pins as output and outputs on this module all modules make gpio 0 and gpio 2 accessible most modules other than esp a266 also make gpio 15 accessible these gpios control how the module starts up and as such requires special handling if they are to be used at all gpio 6 and gpio 11 also require specific treatment as described below okay this is uh, you know that it is esp it is a low cost wi-fi enabled chip that's uh, understandable but all all modules make gpi accessible most modules other than this also make this accessible these uh, control how the module starts up and as such requires specific handling if they are to use at all okay also required so these this the, the, these are the more to lower will tell us about how to handle uh, this uh, all together uh, this uh, this enable chip okay so moving ahead table 5 receiver sensitivity it is the parameters and also the description of uh, packaging and dimension now the external size of the module now that is the definite that is sizes the packaging and, and the dimension the sizes and uh, the type of flash integrated in this module is an SPI flash. So let's see what is an SPI flash. SPI flash. What is an SPI flash? It is a simple serial protocol that can talk to a variety of uh, devices including serial see flash devices flash memory is a type of non volatile st storage that is electrically erasable and rewritable what is the serial protocol that can talk to a variety of devices including serial flash devices flash memory is a type of non volatile storage that is electrically erasable and rewritable okay here is the type of a memory as we have discussed ram we have discussed this yes flash memory the serial protocol yes that can be connect with different sort of the uh, this has packaging and this all been discussed this is in front of you the pin counts are this and this length these are the density the functional uh, functional uh, description mc U is embedded with this and uh, which uh, features extra low power consumption and 16 bit RCI. MC is microcontroller unit. I have discussed, uh, all discussed this. Memory organization internal SRM. It is the static RAM and ROM. Obviously, that may help uh, to function without any changes. And uh, these are the specification. External SPI flash. This module is mounted with an R4MP external SPI flash to store user programs. If larger definable storage space is required, a SPI flash with larger memory size is preferred. Theoretically speaking, up to 16 MB memory capacity can be supported. Suggested SPI is this one. Crystal and currently the frequency of crystal oxalate uh, supported include 40 megahertz, 26 megahertz, and 24 megahertz. The accuracy of crystal oxalators applied should be plus minus 12 ppm, and the operating temperature range should be between this and this. These are the crystal. And uh, when using the download downloading tool, please remember to select the right crystal oxalator type. This is the uh, definition of crystal. Let me have the definition. Crystal, what is the crystal uh, in electronics? Crystal oxalator. Okay, crystal oxalator is an electronic oscillator circuit that uses a 
uh, piezoelectric resonator a crystal as its frequency determining element crystal is a common term used in electronics for the frequency determining component uh, okay it is for the frequency determining component it is a, uh, used to determine the frequency uh, we, uh, a wafer of quartz a uh, crystal or ceramic with a uh, electro electrodes connected to it okay so these are the what it is the frequency determining component crystal interfaces okay interface is this with according to the pin as well and uh, used to have that specific function which is in front of you so these are the obviously different pin i'm not going to deal the details of that uh, each and every pin because normally it is when you are developing the whole sort of the uh, hardware device that is important just to mount exactly according to the pin design and the pin uh, pin sizes and pin design num the, uh, the type of the pin absolute maximum ratings the storage temperature these are the this recommended operating conditions are this and uh, digital uh, terminal characteristics input logic low level low input logic level high these are the digital terminal characteristics obviously these are the output with the symbol with the maximum voltage and the input voltage the output voltage the unit the size uh, the maximum type the test conditions are this rf performance input frequency this is input impedance and, uh, um, impedance and input reflection is this sensitivity okay rf what is the rf in together i believe it is rf performance is radio frequency engineering okay is a subset of electrical and electronic to produce quality results okay power consumption is there with the this all that stuff and a reflow profile is there and schematics and schematics has been explained these are this is the circuitry detail of the different pins and related to the different pins are the designs i may explain this in some other video not right now because it is the whole circuitry within that uh, module or the Wi-Fi chip so that is the altogether of the concept that we actually used so I believe so I have explained it what is all about but uh, this is altogether what we are needed to explain and if you are interested uh, you can uh, actually it is a small device uh, let me actually finish in that way that we have gone through uh, the specification with the parameters details with uh, the hardware the software the pin description and the uh, and also the uh, input and output specification the packaging and this dimension is there this is the whole uh, wi-fi electronic equipment so uh, it's been developed by the AI thinker team and this been a document has been written by this technology as well as the Shenzhen uh, Enziki technology company limited so this uh, device or the chip has been developed by um, V as an uh, as an obviously the keen uh, reader of different technologies i hope that you have uh, developed an understanding about this chip uh, it is a small uh, document but it is very very uh, crucial understanding the basic and the core concepts behind developing a hardcore uh, low cost software based uh, electronics based device or a chip 
that may help uh, to uh, actually run or that may serve as an essential uh, part of other operating systems that is why it is very crucial uh, in any operating system especially when we are talking about the systems which are connected to the Wi-Fi or the Wi-Fi uh, module so I hope this uh, document may help uh, you further understand about uh, uh, the Wi-Fi technologies and developed uh, uh, through or actually uh, placed in different devices whether we are uh, walking around whether we are actually going from one place to another whether we are using devices this Wi-Fi module or the technology uh, or the technique or the method is enabled in more or less in every operating system helping uh, to connect uh, with the devices and uh, helping uh, to perform the functions that are related uh, to that device and uh, obviously connecting the Wi-Fi in packets connecting the Wi-Fi with the device in packets and uh, connecting all the stuff that is using different uh, uh, different features different parameters different specifications of a module and using it as a hardcore uh, product for connecting it to the different devices i hope that i have delivered enough if you have any questions and if you are experienced enough and skilled enough in this field i will welcome you to have uh, more input on different ideas actually pushed in by different uh, commentators so that we can enable ourselves all together for different uh, for a purpose full based video and uh, hoping uh, to firm, firming uh, actually confirming as a basis for developing more sound and more software uh, based uh, equipments or the software uh, programming and, uh, based equipments in the future so hope to see you with another interesting video thank you very much take care and have a nice day